Hi guys, this is another Gravity Forms tutorial and this time we're going to create a form and put it onto a web page and you can use this to auto-populate posts. So instead of having to log into the back end to write a post, you can do it from the front end of your website. And you might want this if you want user-generated content on your website and don't want to give admin rights to the people who come to your site so they can just fill out a form on the main front end of your website and this will create a post or you may have a, a questions area on your site so people can ask a question through the front of your site and this question will be posted somewhere on the site so it can be useful for numerous things so we'll just go ahead and set this up now first thing we need to do is create a new form and we'll give it a title and this will be front end posts or whatever you want and we leave the description blank. Okay, so we will have an area down here because we're going to create a post. We've got all these post fields here. So the post will need a title. So we'll click the title field. And then, of course, we'll need the main content of the post. And we can let them upload images, but we won't do that for this example. But we will let them do tags. Okay, so these are our fields that we're going to have on our form. I'll just update that. And then if you go into this post title and open it up, you'll see we've got down here some settings. So we've got the default post author. And if you let people, you can say people need to be logged in to be used as author. You can put default post category, and we haven't got any here, but you can set this up. And we can say, do you want this to be a draft? Do you want it to be automatically published or pending? We'll just leave it as draft. And then you can do content templates, but we haven't got anything there, and you can put a bit of description. Make this required field we don't need to change any of the advanced settings and we'll also make this post body a required field and we won't bother with the tags so I'll update that so that is a form set up so now I'll create a new page for the website and call this test post form and we'll just embed the form in here I don't want to show the description or the title of this form but I'll go down to the form we just created there and then we'll insert it and I'll make this a full width page so let's publish this page and we'll view it and there you have it we have our form and we can just test this out. So we'll give a post a title as in just give it a pointless title and then we'll just I just write anything here. Okay, and then we'll give it a tag as in Hello, we'll just tag it under hello. So this is form and we'll just submit this form. We'll get our default settings saying thanks for contacting us. We didn't change that. But we've done this, we've submitted a form. So if I go into the back end now, under posts, I should have a new draft post and I have here it is. It's tagged under hello. It's on categorized because what we set up, put the author as me because I was logged in and then if you go into edit this post you'll see it's all filled out exactly like we want and because I'm using the Genesis framework for my site my WordPress site I've got all these SEO options that aren't filled in but that's okay these options aren't here by default if you just have a normal WordPress install there we go so we can go ahead and publish that post if you want or we can do whatever we want with it so that's just a really quick way 
to create a post from a form. If you want more Gravity Forms and also general WordPress and even web design and graphic design tutorials and guides and tips, make sure you head over to the website www.neilcurtis.me where you'll find a lot more stuff. See you over there soon.